everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone, welcome to my theme Thursday. So today's theme Thursday is nautical, and then the alternate theme is navy and white. And so I thought it'd be fun to bring on my um, Andrea Arcello, um, my set of princesses and my one little prince and get them all dressed up in their nautical outfits. And so um, they are all wearing their little uh, sparkly tiaras. And then of course the little prince is wearing his crown. So let's get started with the very first um, princess that Andrea Arcello sculpted. And this is Princess Adelaide. And Princess Adelaide is wearing her nautical dress. And um, the first, the main part of the dress is red, and then it's, it's accented with uh, navy and white. And so she looks super cute in this color, I think, uh, because of her blonde hair and, and her complexion. And she's also wearing her, her little tootsie shoes, which say cutie pie cutie pie and even though she's my little pouty princess to me she's still a little cutie pie okay so next we have the huxley sculpt and she was the second um, sculpt in this set and she is wearing a navy and white uh, nautical dress and some pretty little white shoes and lacy little socks and um, I forgot to mention that I kept Princess Adelaide's name as Princess Adelaide. And then um, the Huxley sculpt I named Aubrey Noel. And she's my serious little one. So then next we have the third uh, sculpt in this set. And this is the Princess Lennox sculpt. And uh, I named her Ashley Joy because of her joyful little crinkle nose smile and I think she's adorable um, she is wearing a matching um, dress just like her sister um, Aubrey Noel and did I mention that sh this is uh, Princess Huxley she uh, um, Andrea Arcello named all of her um, sculpts as princesses and then um, prince so but anyway um, so yeah, she's wearing her nautical little nautical dress, and uh, she also has her pretty white shoes on. It's really hard to see them, but they're white shoes and her lacy socks as well. And so last but not least, we have Prince Henry, and he is the spoiled one of the group because he's the only brother. If you can imagine how spoiled he is, um, the girls all love playing with him. And he's the youngest of the group. But he is wearing his navy and white um, play suit. And um, it does it, it is accented with yellow. And it also has a really cute uh, giraffe applique on it. And he is wearing his navy and white um, sports shoes. So yeah, here they are. Hi everyone. So guess who I have with me today? This is Emma Grace. Yes, it is. I haven't brought her on in so long. And um, I wanted to participate in Suzanne's uh, Sarah Louise week. And um, so she, uh, Suzanne had sent me uh, for my birthday last year, a really pretty Sierra Louise dress. And um, it's a size two years. And um, so Emma Grace is my largest, um, let's see, is she my large? Well, I do have one larger toddler, but um, I decided to bring Emma Grace on um, instead, just because I haven't brought her on in such a long time. And I wanted her to wear the special Sierra Louise dress that Suzanne sent me. 
And so, um, yeah, it's a really fun week. She's been uh, putting her babies and toddlers into um, Sarah Louise outfits and um, mainly dresses, you know, for her toddlers. And uh, Sarah Louise is um, manu a manufacturer in, um, in England um, that makes these beautiful dresses. And let me show you the dress while I'm talking about them. This is the dress that that Suzanne sent. It's a quite long one. And um, the dresses, the Sarah Louise dresses all have this really beautiful um, tucking, uh, usually in the bodice. And then it's got these um, hand embroidered little tiny flowers. They're like little roses, little tiny pink roses with um, like a uh, a mint green leaves and it's and it's a pretty little dress I really like this dress and um, usually Sarah Louise dresses um, also have uh, some type of a petticoat or slip or skirt underneath and this one has um, a matching skirt underneath and so yeah and so see here's um, here's what the label always looks like so yeah, I'm really pleased to be able to um, put this dress on Emma Grace today. It's got these uh, four little tiny buttons, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, tie the bow. I, iron I ironed this dress just before this video, and um, I wanted to make sure, you know, there it was nice and crisp. And then I didn't want to tie the bow because I wanted it to be, you know, I wanted the, um, the bow strings to be nice and flat before I tied. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this big girl. She's sitting way back here on the shelf. It's actually a bench um, because she is such a big girl. I'll go ahead and bring her up closer, but um, I wanted you to see this beautiful outfit that um, my friend Holly had sent as well. And um, it's a lace overlay to like a, um, looks like a taffeta uh, slip underneath and then these cute little um, red, um, not red, yellow and white gingham um, little uh, pedal pushers is what they used to call in my day. But um, anyway, let me go ahead and bring her up closer and um, I'll show you the rest of the, um, the things that uh, she's gonna be wearing today. Yeah, just kind of have her uh, lean against the little bench here. Okay, so um, the shoes that she's going to be wearing, she's wearing them right now. And um, these are super cute shoes. And uh, uh, my friend Carrie of Carrie's Little Cuties um, had sent these shoes. And they are adorable. And let me get, I'm trying to get the other, let me get the other shoe off. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing. Well, anyway, let me show you with this shoe. Um, it's got these tiny little um, heart cutouts in the shoes. And then it looks like uh, like a little lacy edge along the top. I love these shoes. And um, they fit Emma Grace really, really well. Um, actually, um, Carrie had sent these shoes uh, for Maggie May, and uh, she had asked me what size that Maggie May wore, and I told her the size, which was an incorrect size. And so they're they're a little bit too big for Maggie May, but they fit um, Emma Gray perfect, Emma Grace um, perfectly. And I'm still struggling with this shoe, trying to get it off. Yeah. Gosh, too bad the socks aren't the, the socks that I'm going to be um, uh, putting on her because uh, I could have just left the shoes and socks on. But I wanted to put these uh, very light pink, uh, lacy, pretty socks on her as well. And uh, it has these satin bows on either side. So I thought that would be really pretty. And then um, I have these real light pink uh, pearl earrings. Yep, because I'm thinking of, of uh, putting these pearls back on her. She loves to wear these pearls, and um, I think she looks really pretty in them. She's my oldest girl, and so she gets to wear the more grown-up 
things, the more grown up accessories. And then last but not least, um, she's going to be wearing this uh, pretty light pink cutout bow in her hair. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And um, I'll see if I can undo these shoes right now to put on her feet for a little bit later. So uh, anyway, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that um, that left uh, lovely comments on my um, last two videos. Um, gosh, you know, I brought I brought Maggie May on, and I changed her into a real pretty little um, summer dress that I really I really liked that dress on her. Um, it was a brand new dress that I had um, bought for her last summer. Um, it was red and white gingham, and uh, so everybody seemed to like it. And so thank you for that. And then also um, for your your lovely comments about my, my Ashton Drake um, collection. Uh, I really had fun, uh, you know, bringing all my Ashton Drakes on. Uh, I really, really did. And uh, so thank you for, um, you know, welcoming my Ashton Drake babies into the community. So yeah, let's see what else. Um, oh, you know, I was gonna uh, talk about this. This is really a fun little topic to talk about. Um, you know, don't don't you think that it's just the little things in life that make things happy? Just the little things. You know, I know sometimes, you know, the big things in life also make things happy and joyful for you, but it's. For me, a lot of the times, it's those little things in life that just really tickle me. And um, let me tell you what I'm talking about. So uh, anyway, um, and I hope that you're going to be able to see Emma Grace uh, as well as as well as I can show her um, being such a big girl that she is. I'm going to try to maybe adjust the camera so that you can see. Here's her feet down here. But anyway, um, what happened was, um, okay, so I'm going to talk about bed sheets. <laughs> and I know, funny topic, but um, our bed sheets, the, be the bed sheets that we had on our bed um, up until yesterday, they finally gave out. They got really, really thin and they finally just ripped. <laughs> I know. And uh, so... I, uh, so my hubby, um, you know, he, he's really good at, for some reason, I don't know, he's always been the one that has, um, that has ordered, um, our sheets online because he likes these, spe this specific kind of cotton. It's a crisp, um, cotton, uh, bed sheet, uh, much like the ones that you would find, um, like in a hotel room, you know, they're, um, they're crisp but they're kind of soft at the same time. Um, they're wonderful. But anyway, um, that's what he prefers. And uh, so he's always been, been able to find those. And I wanted to draw your attention to um, the Cami sculpt for just a minute here. Now, you know, um, Cami's sister um, the, the, is the, the Mila sculpt by Ping Lao as well. Um, she's by Ping Lao too. And um, so, the milliscope has has the um, the sculpted uh, chest all the way down to about here, and so there's no gaps in here. But the cami sculpt, um, ha you know, she's only got the um, the vinyl up to like her neckline, and then um, the rest of her is is cloth body. So, um, but it's a low enough neckline to where when she's wearing a nice dress. You know the the dress will come about about to there, and then you can see her neck, and she can wear pearls and jewelry and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, she's got um, she's got full arms and full legs. She is a big big girl. Um, I don't remember what her measurements are. I don't know how how tall she is, but believe me, she's a big big girl. As you can see, she's really difficult to get into the camera. But um, so I'm going to lay her down because I need to um, take off her little her little pedal pushers. Yeah, I guess I'll lay her down to about there and say hi, aunties and uncles. 
Mom's having a time trying to get me undressed today. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, so anyway, yeah, our our sheets gave out. Um, Hubby knows exactly the kind of sheets that he likes. And so he's been the one to order our sheets. So anyway, he found some and um, we thought that they were the same ones that we had gotten like, I think the ones we have now are at least three years old, you know, the old ones. And uh, we thought that, that what he was getting was about the same ones because um, the, in the advertisement on the, um, on the website, it says um, there's, uh, you know, how, how people leave, um, uh, what do you call, um, not surveys, but, you know, they tell about the product and whether they like it or not. Reviews is what I'm trying to think of. But uh, so, yeah. And uh, so people um, were leaving reviews and they had good reviews. And then one one lady said, oh, I just love these sheets. Um, it's just like going into, um, you know, a nice a nice hotel room. And uh, so anyway, when my hubby saw the word hotel room, he thought, oh, I'm going to go for these. <laughs> and um, he always calls me into his office and shows me what he's getting so that I can agree on the, um, you know, on the color and stuff. So, um, you know, yeah, we agreed on the color. And then um, we ha what we have is uh, we have camouflage because we live in West Virginia and it's out in the country, you know, um, we thought it would be fun to have um, camouflage uh, like bedding, uh, you know, the, uh, the comfort, we've got a camouflage comforter and, um, and, you know, pillow shams. And so uh, before we've always gotten like a, oh, like a, like a light green color to go with the camouflage. But, um, you know, uh, our choices this time we didn't have the light green as a choice and look at this you guys um her arms she's a she's a chubby chubby wubby little thing a uh, big girl i mean not little thing and so um this is this is a little tight on her arms so we're struggling a little bit here it's a good thing that it's um a very nice soft cotton and it's a good thing that's a little bit big on her too, because that makes it easier to uh, to push the arms back up. So let me see how I'm how I'm gonna button her here. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here, you guys. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we ended up getting a like a mm, like a medium gray color. And uh, because the camo also has like bits of brown and gray and all the woodsy colors in it. So um, anyway, we, we got them the day before. No, it was two days ago that we got them. And uh, so I the and we didn't get them until late afternoon, which is when our, uh, you know, our UPS man drops our boxes off in the. Uh, so they, you know, uh, I washed them. They are, they always recommend that you wash the sheets first. So I washed all the sheets and, uh, put them on the bed. And last night was our, uh, first time to sleep on them. And oh my goodness, what a difference, what a difference a day makes, as they say. Um, the sheets are really, really nice, you guys. And they feel really, um, oh, they're just crisp and, you know, um, just, it, it uh, soft and crisp at the same time i don't know how else to describe it but anyway you know it's just it's just, that's just a silly thing for me to talk about today i know but i just was gonna say you know basically um, i'm trying to say it's those little things in life you know those little comfort things Some, sometimes it's those little comfort things in life that um that mean a lot you know and uh to us, it was our, it was getting a brand new sh set of sheets. <laughs> now, isn't that just a, a silly subject to talk about? But, um, you know, it, it does make a difference in the way that, um, that you rest, you know, that you, that you get your sleep and everything. So, um, so yeah, yeah, she, these, um, getting back to the dress, the sleeves are a little bit tight. 
just a little bit. But that's all right because she's a doll, you know, and it's not going to bother her to have uh, a little bit too tight of, um, of sleeves. Nope. Nope, it sure isn't. And I thought that these socks would be just really, really pretty for this uh, pretty Sarah Louise dress that Auntie Suzanne gifted my girls. Yeah, and it just happens to fit this one. So yeah, I have all kinds of um, different sizes of toddlers and babies and um, it makes it interesting. And you know what else is interesting too is to have different things in um, in a doll collection, different, different types of, of dolls. You know, like having the Ashton Drakes. Um, I really, you know, it, it's like variety is the spice of life is what they say. And I agree with that. Like I, you know, I have the Ashton Drakes, um, my little six, I have what, six, six of uh, different dolls. And then I have the, um, I have Mikey and Michelle, which are the, you know, the same, the same type of doll, but one's just, um, one's brother, one's sister. But yeah, you know, like I have my porcelain um, dolls that I had shown you um, a few weeks ago. And, uh, you know, and then I have my, um, all the elves, the manor elves that um, Carrie had made for me. And um, I also have a, a, a were pup, a werewolf pup that Carrie had made and gifted to me. Um, all of the manor elves she had made and gifted to me. She's such a sweetheart. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, and then fairies and, you know, I just think it's fun to have different things in, in a collection, um, at least for me anyway. So, yeah. Okay, let's turn this little one around. And I think we're doing okay here with her. Yeah, I think we are. I do think we are. There's her dress. It's a very long dress. Very long dress. Yeah. But I don't want to bring it on uh, back over her shoes because then you can't see her cute little shoes. You can't see her shoes anyway, can you? Nope. You know, I don't think she's going to need... Um, those beads because, uh, you know, the pearls, because I, I really like to see this, um, all the nice tucking and stuff. So um, I'm not going to put her pearls back on, but I am going to put her pink pearls, her pink pearl earrings into her ears because I think Sarah Louise and pearls goes very well together. I'm trying to get this one earring out. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. I do like Sarah Louise with pearls. Pearls is one of my favorite jewelries to wear. Um, you know, when I want to be kind of fancy. Kind of fancy schmancy. I like to wear pearl earrings, pearl necklace, and a pearl bracelet. Now, what is wrong with this one side? Hmm. There we go. What is wrong with that one, one, one little uh, side of your ear there? I think I'm going to leave. Well, no, I'm going to need to take her rubber band out. Let me go ahead and bring the camera up. So that you can see what I'm doing over here. She has human hair. Just like her little sister, Maggie Mae. And um, it's not exactly the same color of, of um, blonde, but they're both uh, they're both little blonde heads. Yes, they are. They have blonde hair and they have blue eyes. Kind of like me when I was growing up. <laughs> blonde hair, blue eyes. That's right. Now, now I have white hair, gray hair. But I still have blue eyes. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't mind my hair changing changing to gray. But I like it. I like having blue eyes, so I'm glad that that doesn't change. You know. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. This is really nice hair. 
Boy, oh boy, every time I do my toddler's hair, I always think, oh, I wish I had their hair. I mean, even uh, even growing up, um, my hair was never uh, a medium, you know, like a, a, a medium type of hair. Um, my hair was more thinner. Where's, where's my comb? My hair was always more thinner. So, um, so it's nice to... I'll show you the back of her hair. You can see... Oh, sorry about the microphone hit. Yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I do that. She has really long hair. Yep, she does. It's a little bit of a, little bit of a tangle back there. Your hair is kind of wavy. Whenever Emma, um, you know, takes the photos for her her toddlers um, or her babies, you know, she'll always fix their hair, curl their hair and stuff. And um, so I don't have to really do anything with it by the time it, uh, it you know, the baby or toddler comes to my house. But um, I'm not sure why we're having these little tangles here. Yeah, that happens though. That happens. Okay, turn back around and let's get your pretty whoop, don't fall don't fall over now. Oh big girl, big heavy girl. Yeah, we're gonna readjust the camera. Hopefully I don't pull it out of the holder like I've done so many times in the past. <laughs> I'm trying not to do any bloopers today, you guys. I think it's working out real good for me. I don't think I've done any yet. But um so there she is. I'm going to sit her back on the bench so that you can see her. See her entire dress. There she is. Let me fix her all up here. Yeah, she says, I don't want my knees to show, Mom. I go, I know, I know. You're a young lady and that should never happen. We don't want our knees to show. But there's the dress. Isn't it pretty? Nice long dress with this um, underskirt underneath. Here it is. Nice and full. If she was a real little girl, she'd be, she'd be up and spinning around with her nice full dress. So there she is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Emma Grace today. She is one pretty little girl. I'll tell you what. Um, she really, really is. I'm really proud to have her in my collection. So, well, um, thank you so much for visiting today. I hope you enjoyed seeing Emma Grace um, again after so long. And um, Suzanne, thank you for this um, beautiful Sarah Louise dress and for having Sarah Louise week. I think that's just a, a fantastic idea. So um, have a wonderful rest of your day. And until we meet again, bye-bye from me. And Emma Grace, bye-bye.